started so we don't have to speculate any longer. It's game two between Puma and MMA. One of the many amazing matchups that you'll be seeing today. Give a big shout out also to Cat's Pajamas and Doa for all their great work at commentating over the course of the weekend. Of course, we'll be uh, taking you on a journey through a few games and then uh, it'll be HD and Pain user closing out the series here at IPL3 Origins here in the Southwest position as the Red Terran. Give it up for Slayers MMA. And our Blue Terran here in the Northwest looked like he was gonna have a very, very solid and aggressive opening to start off, but MMA bounced back. Can he do it in game two? Give it up for EG Puma. And I actually spoke to MMA in that bar backstage and I was like, man, I would actually want your haircut. <laughs> And he like, yeah, it's pretty good. No, I Puma know that's there, like, that he's lying. He said, no, 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 no. He was not having any of it. <laughs> he's like, you can't wear this. Well, he me. probably thought literally that you wanted his hair. Oh, Apollo, yeah. So he was like. <sighs> it's like you go get the shaver that you have for slashes. <laughs> like exactly. MMA. It's like, no. Oh, we have, have gas first here for MMA. Oh. Hmm. And the thing is, Cloak Banshees are really good on this map. And we actually have Refinery first for Puma as well. Banshees are pretty good on this map because there's a lot of dead space behind the back of the main base uh, and there's a lot of different areas. And to be honest, since it is a three-player map, the rush distances between bases overall is relatively short as well. So you're going to get that second Banshee in really fast as well. And within the GSL, we've seen a lot of really fast wins by going close Banshees. And if both players do actually go for it, it usually comes down to who gets the engineering bay, who builds the turret. Because if you don't have defense against it, you're gonna lose. And I, I mean, I have to feel, Apollo, like this is MMA's response to Puma's map selection. I think that he knows Puma yeah. as a player enough to say, okay, this is what he's gonna do. Um, I, I, I'm definitely gonna be trying to counteract, uh, you know, exactly the build that yeah. he's throwing out there. So, uh, direct response. Now, sometimes that can work out remarkably. In other cases, you know, not so much. So there will be this kind of like scary moment here as the tech begins to develop out to see exactly if anyone, if either of these guys will have like sort of a distinct advantage just because they choose to tweak a build this way or that. And the, the basically, the, the reason why they decided to go Cloak Banshee is because it's really good against bio openings. Uh, it, it's not that good against mech openings, but we don't really see that anymore. Uh, and right now, it doesn't look like we are going to see Cloak Banshee from Puma, though it could still potentially happen. We do have a tech lab onto that barracks, uh, and the other time we have a tech lab onto the barracks here for MMA as well. And uh, we'll have to see how this does develop. He hasn't taken the second refinery yet, though. That is MMA. And uh, we are going to see a Reaper come out here. And that's another good thing with this map, too, is the Reapers are really really good here because there's a lot of different areas to enter the main base. Reaper on its way. There's the switch as the factory finishes up here for MMA. Uh, actually just going to put the starport right there. And uh, you know, one thing too, the location here for MMA is actually quite good considering what the spawns are. Here comes that SCV, going to try to get some scouting information. He will be shut down by that Marine, but he's got to raise that depot. There it is, quick response and the SCV goes down. And so we're going to have a single Banshee out for MMA just to do a little bit of harassment, maybe force uh, an overreaction from Puma, Engineering Bay turrets, uh, potentially a Raven, uh, depending on how much he doesn't know because he really doesn't know anything at the moment. But that Reaper that Puma has, it has to get in the base. If it scouts it, he scouts that the second gas isn't there. He knows he doesn't have to overreact. Marines are going down in the center of map, so map control is with wow. Puma right now. That's actually a great little victory right there. But the two more Hellions come out, and that's going to make it not so much. The Reaper will fall, and uh, suddenly where Puma had a little bit of advantage just stopped here by MMA as uh, he will now chase away with those two Hellions. Meanwhile, the uh, Banshee is on its way out and uh, not sure about its rally point here, mm. but uh, I'm sure he'll be switching up there. We've got the Hellions moving over and uh, we'll get the scout, so we'll probably be changing that up, trying to get that over to Puma's base. And there's the Banshee as well, but with the cloak. I don't think Puma was expecting to lose map control, to be honest, with right. the Hellion and Reaper. He was quite comfortable to have, because the, the way that he was playing is a kind of a mind game. I've gone Reaper, my gas is here, I'm not going to go Cloak Banshee. And then he was expecting to keep map control, but he lost it. So now Cloak Banshee has been easily revealed here. And we have a tech lab onto the uh, starport, so we can easily go ahead and build a, ba uh, build a Raven or potentially build uh, a Viking here. But we do have this Banshee coming in now, doing a lot of damage against these two hit Marines. 
And there they go. Now they're going to be focusing down on the uh, tech lab. And you can see behind the Banshee, we will have a Viking come out. So he's basically got to keep uh, alive for as long as he possibly can. Now, Why is he attacking the supply down. depot? Just go for the SCVs. And I, I, don't, I, I don't know. It looked like he's being a little bit indecisive here as now we have more units coming in. Puma is going to have Cloak finishing up. There is the repair. A lot of SCVs brought down for the repair, but he is kind of delaying. I mean, as long as that Cloak finishes up, we did see the NG Bay going down. There are the missile turrets, so that is going to be a good enough response here by MMA. Here also comes the Viking into the main to make sure no more make it out. Oh, Viking is uh, going to spot that Banshee, and, and we'll have Viking on Viking battle, but so far the Banshee from Puma has not even made it out of the base yet. No, it hasn't, and there's turrets in the main base. Uh, there's there's two, three Vi Vikings queued up now. Uh, MMA just got a clear advantage right now. His expansion is up, he's got a turret onto the expansion. The command center only has just been built, really, for Puma in the center of his base. And the, the form of cloak, like we talked many times throughout the entire weekend, is that when you go cloak Banshee, it's a big risk because you have to make a return on the investment that you throw into it. And Puma hasn't made any right now. And you look at the SCVs killed, six SCVs have been killed from the player that didn't even go cloak Banshee. Right, um, and I mean, he, he although he could have gone after uh, you know, maybe the mineral line. He did still do a lot of damage getting those Marines. We have a few racks going down here uh, for Puma. The same thing happening over on MMA's side, but he's already established himself as having the air control with a few of these Vikings out. Going to be dropping down this factory and putting on a reactor so we can continue. And there is the stim as well. So once again, we will find MMA just 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, his combat shield uh, is uh, not finished yet. He's going to go with the stim over on the other side. Uh, as far as these Marines are concerned, no combat shield either going stem first. So, um, I, I mean, I feel like Puma is just a little bit uh, behind. What are your thoughts overall? He's I mean, with the really expansion. really far behind. Yeah. I mean, he has no idea, though. If you just click his vision, he doesn't even know anything. Uh, it's still the starting three supply depot war is the only thing he's actually scouted here. And now MMA is saying, oh, you're expanding now? I expanded five minutes ago. You know, I'm so far ahead. Uh, and, and that basically means for MMA that he doesn't really have to do anything. He can sit down, you know, just really throw all his uh, money into upgrades rather than units right now. He has to be careful of a counterattack or something. But right now, he's in great position. And MMA is actually checking the back base for a hidden expansion. And he's like, is it, are you really expanding this late? So he's going to keep that there. It can also spot any Banshees or something like we saw just go past. Yeah, there's a Banshee in the northeast uh, corner from Puma. Going to be taking a long, long route around to the bottom corner and then eventually over to this particular base. But we already see the third CC going down for MMA. And he is in such a relaxed position that he can almost just, uh, I mean, at, at this point, take those types of uh, moves right here where he just establishes another base and continues to uh, tech up as much as humanly possible. Possible. Puma right now trying to get his siege going um, and, and you know just getting his production up but uh, you know we always talk about these situations Apollo where now a player knowing he's behind has to do something mm. that could possibly give him some advantage back and in this case I'm not even sure what Puma has up his sleeve. I'm not even sure that Puma knows how far behind he really is. Maybe. I mean he's 49 SCVs versus 36. That's a lot, and I don't really think he knows that. As this Banshee comes in, he definitely knows now. He's like, you have a third command center? The base is fully, what? And he's like, how did this happen? And now he knows he has to do something. As we can see on the minimap, he's pulling down. Uh, but at the end of the day, even though he pushes down with this small little army, it's not big enough to crack MMA. It's not, um, and you know he may try anyway. He may try to load up, possibly do some dropping. Uh, we have this Viking over here now, so Puma is uh, is uh, if he decides to attack with that Banshee, could be in pretty bad shape. And now he knows this army is moving forward. It looks like all he'd have to do is just siege up right here. He's got more Marines. He's got the bunker as well. Actually, units are going to come out of the bunker, and MMA knows that he can easily take this force on. There is the stem from both Ooh. players. And the tanks actually sieged up on Puma's side. And MMA possibly making a mistake there as we uh, have most of the tanks going down. The bunker is up, uh, however, and I'm, I'm rather surprised there. Puma just having a, a situational advantage with his tanks already sieged up. And MMA, who honestly should have rolled through that force, uh, just does not. 
Yeah, and now he, because I mean, like I said before, he wasn't really building that many units. He wasn't adding on that many production facilities because he spent his money in a third command center, spent his money in getting the gases and upgrades a lot faster. So his army is a little bit smaller, um, and it's actually relatively uh, close, actually. 44 versus 42 supply in the armies. And the thing is that I think Puma's going to try to elevate in here or at least do some damage from the lower ground. But the thing is, there's Viking oh. control as well, and oh, he's got to be, oh, he loses that. That is pretty good for MMA. Yeah, and there's this uh, one tank up in the high ground. In fact, both of the medevacs go down in what looked like a situation for Puma, where mm -hmm. he was going to be able to kind of uh, at least start to choke a little bit uh, MMA. That worked out really badly. I don't think he was expecting the three Vikings to be there, lost that medevac. And here we now have the third going down for MMA. Although it's a bit further away, it's still going to be tough for Puma to uh, attack just with his entire force. May want to be sending it drops over there to try to get rid of that. But here we have another move from MMA. And uh, I don't think he should try to break this. He should definitely just go around the back of it and then go to the natural area of Puma. And I don't think that Puma actually knows about this. He sends a single Marine to see where the army is, but the Marine actually doesn't see anything. It sings, sees a single SV. Oh, the sensor tower actually gets the last couple of Marines there. So now Puma knows he has to go back, otherwise he's gonna lose position on his natural. And if he loses position on that natural, he'll lose the game. Yeah, and the big, big uh, problem with this attack is that Puma is not gonna have any sort of a siege advantage here. In fact, he's got to wait in order to siege up. The Marines are going to go into the corner, but now they have uh, a very, very easy access to this exposed base from Puma. Again, the tank's trying to move forward, sieging back up. The only... Go oh, nice pickup there. Send it back down. Oh. He looked like he was in the corner and had his back up against the wall, but a perfect, uh, perfect uh, management of those units by MMA. And he is looking good on the siege here. And the, new, this, the next wave from MMA can go directly to the third base and really spread out Puma because he just doesn't have the economy, he doesn't have the army to do anything here. And MMA kills the sensor tower, so now that with Puma is in the dark and he's got a third base up and running, his upgrades are flowing. And MMA is controlling this game, DJ Weed. Yeah, and also MMA has the Viking control. There is a nice snipe of the Vikings there uh, at the cost of a few Marines. But as you mentioned, we got one Marine sort of tucked back here. We've got some tanks still sieging up onto this high ground. Uh, and MMA is in a good position here to continue to just do a lot of damage in a safe location. Meanwhile, a, a lot of his forces starting to gather here in the middle. And as you mentioned, Apollo, he has real easy access to this third base. And if that were to go down in this situation, um, I, I think at that point, Puma would just have to GG for lack of economy. Well, he's almost got enough units and upgrades that he can almost just unsiege and, and walk into it. I mean, he's got more than enough, and I he, think he knows yeah. that as well. So he's just going to go in and walk this. This could be in the end of Puma. Everything's going down, DJ Wee. Yeah, I mean, he sieged up on the outside. The Marine's going to come forward, do as much damage as they possibly can. But frankly, the supply is 77 to 150 in favor of MMA. And it looks like the Slayers will be staying alive. There is a drop going over to the third there, but is it too little, too late? As the third will go down for Puma, inevitably, this may be able to stop him for MMA, or at least temporarily uh, cease mining at that particular location but uh, uh, just too much of a force and the supply is double for MMA. 166 supply for MMA, 87. Puma gonna drop some Marines onto the tanks and uh, that's a pretty good, it's doing a lot of damage actually, really cost effective. But now he really doesn't have any Marines as he has this little drop in the bottom right. The sensor tower from MMA in the center makes sure that he doesn't get flanked towards his third base, which he's now taking a, a new third base in the center area. And uh, MMA on sieges, and he's going to get a better position again. Yeah, and here he goes, the stim on the Marines. One tank, two tank, three tank, go down. And he will easily push into the naturals. SCVs coming out. There's the scan to see, well, what else is there? And when he realizes it's just SCVs, he will gladly, gladly engage in this battle as the tank siege up and there it is gg and slayers mma takes it mma is looking good because he made puma he made puma look really inferior in that game and puma is very very good in tvt but 